Hello guys, welcome back to Fun with Frank. In this video, we're looking at the top 10 exercises for the office. Before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. If you spend the majority of your day sitting, it's critical to work on strengthening your abs and lower back. These areas will become weakened as a result of being in the same position for long periods of time. To burn calories and gain strength, target larger muscles such as your booty and core. Long hours behind a computer can easily begin to take their toll on your body if you aren't using proper posture at your desk. Watching what you eat or attempting to offset long hours behind a computer with some physical activity and the consequences of sitting at a desk all day range from obesity to chronic neck and back pain to carpal tunnel syndrome. Try these 10 office workouts that can help reverse the stiffness and soreness you may be experiencing from sitting. Exercise 1. Neck Rolls Neck strain can be serious if you sit incorrectly with your monitor set too low or too high or simply for long periods of time. Using yoga neck rolls can help combat this. Lean forward in your chair and sit up straight for 10 to 15 seconds Rotate it clockwise or draw circles with your nose as Yoga with Adrian demonstrates. Then counterclockwise. To work the muscles in your neck, lean slightly to the left. Place your right hand against the right side of your head and press against your hand with your head. Repeat for the opposite side. Exercise number 2. Leg Extensions a simple leg extension is a quick and easy exercise you can do while writing or working. Point your toes and straighten your leg. Lifting and holding your leg for 5 to 10 seconds will stretch your calves and hamstrings. Repeat with different legs as needed. To burn the lower abdomen, you can also relax your foot and extend your leg outward, raising every 10 seconds. Exercise 3. Lower Back Stretch the majority of the stress of sedentary living is placed on the back, particularly the lower back. Standing up and reaching for your toes for 10 to 30 seconds can help relieve a lot of stress. To avoid touching your toes, stay seated. Widen your knees to roughly shoulder width and bring your head towards the knees. Allowing your head to drop will help stretch and relieve pressure in your lower back. You can also work and stretch your shoulders by interlocking your fingers behind your back and extending upwards. You will notice less stress on your lower back if you perform one of these exercises once every hour for about one minute. Exercise 4. Spinal Twist Another way to relieve back pain is to sit in your chair sideways. Grip the top of the chair with both hands and pull your body towards the back of the chair. Repeat two or three times and hold for 10 seconds before switching to the opposite side. Squats You might as well do some squats before you sit down if you've already stood up to touch your toes. Squats, according to Stuart Phillips, PhD professor of kinesiology at McMaster University, activate the body's biggest muscles, those in the buttocks, back and legs. Gretchen Reynolds of the New York Times agrees and goes into more detail in a Freakonomics podcast episode about the best exercise. To squat, stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, extending your arms parallel to the ground and begin to bend your knees while keeping your shoulders and back straight. Dip as low as your body will allow and then explode back to the standing. Do this 20 to 30 times to raise your heart rate and work some of your most important muscles. Exercise 6. Jog in place for 60 seconds. Jogging in place is another standing exercise that will get your heart rate up. If you do this for 60 seconds, it will raise your heart rate and wake you up if you have been feeling groggy. It's probably more effective than your sugary card espresso latte from this morning. You can also bring your knees up to or above waist height for better results. Exercise 7 Run in place while sitting. 
If you must remain seated all day or cannot take a few moments away from your computer, you can pretend to run while sitting in your chair. As if you were running, move your legs back and forth while moving your arms. While this may appear and sound ridiculous, it will raise your heart rate and get your blood flowing again, which is the most important part. Again, raising your knees higher yields better results. Exercise 8. Tap your toes. In addition to the sit and run, you can simply tap your toes to raise your heart rate. Obviously, this isn't as effective as running in place or doing 30 squats, but tapping your toes in an alternating pattern as if you were running can help you burn a few extra calories, really not that much, while keeping your heart in check. This is a simple exercise, but it's one that you can and probably already do, even without thinking about it. Exercise 9. Carpal Tunnel Preventative Stretches All day typing on a keyboard is bad for your wrists. It typically places them in unnatural positions for hours at a time, causing stress and pain in your joints and tendons, eventually leading to the excruciatingly painful and inconvenient Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. You can help prevent this by performing simple rest stretches once or twice an hour. Extend your arm from your side and flex your hand upward, palm facing away from your body. Pull back on your fingertips with your other hand and hold for 10 to 30 seconds. After releasing, bend your hand downward, palm towards your body and pull it towards your body with the opposite hand once more. Swap hands two or three times more. You can also simply rotate your wrists in circular motions for 10 to 20 seconds switching between clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. Exercise 10 4 7 8 Breathing Ritual Controlling your breathing to lower your heart rate is one of the most simple and discreet exercises you can do to from your desk. The 4 7 8 breathing exercise is one that I do every morning, night in, whenever I feel my stress level rising. Breathe in for a count of 4. Hold your breath for a count of seven and breathe out forcefully with your tongue pressed against the ridge behind your front two teeth for a count of eight. It sounds simple and it is, but it may take some practice to get it right and become a useful tool. When used correctly, it can lower your heart rate, helping you control your mood and relax you. Controlled breathing can help you gain a level mindset and get more done in a high stressful situation. It can also be used to combat food cravings. This also helps me fall asleep at night when I'm particularly restless, but I don't think it'll help much when you're at work unless you've convinced your boss or yourself of the benefits of productive sleeping. And in the end, here is one bonus exercise for you. Side stretches. The final exercise is one that many of you are probably already familiar with, the side stretch. Raise your arm and lean in the opposite direction as if you're reaching for something on a high shelf. Hold for 10 seconds before switching arms. Repeat 3 to 4 times more. This will stretch your arms and sides. Furthermore, unlike many of these exercises, it is very discreet and is unlikely to draw the attention of your co-workers. These exercises are extremely simple and some may appear silly or pointless but the goal is to keep your body moving, to raise and lower your heart rate and to keep you from withering away behind computer. If you can remind yourself that you've been sitting for too long, any kind of movement is preferable to being sedentary even if it draws strange looks from your co-workers. Thank you for watching the video. If you have some awesome desk exercises we missed or you think should be included, be sure to share them in the comments below.